the bend deformer the bend deformer basically bends subject so i'll go ahead here and create um, a cube and make it a bit longer so i'll make it 2000 on the y and um, zoom out to see what we have and now go ahead to create a bend deformer so i'll come here select it and choose bend drag and drop it and straight away our bend deformer is created now as you know um deformers basically deform objects by moving its point and with this cube having one on one one segment it means there's not enough segment or enough point for it to bend smoothly so i'll increase it i'll select the cube and increase the segment to 30 on the y and maybe a bit of five here and here I and mean, we are bending it on the y so that's why i've given it enough segment there so now if you select the bend and come to each strength and increase it and see straight away it's bending the cube that we created i'll actually come to the display and change the mood to um go out shading and now it shows you you know the the segments of the cube and now the thing is bending so you can actually if you go ahead and increase the segment you can see it's coming smoother and you can see it's bending in the middle because that's where like the bend deformer is so if you should go ahead and move the bend deformer down you can see now you can actually can change it and select the bend deformer and come to its attribute manager you can say fit to object which will make it fit to the size of the object so now it fits the object and you can see now the its bend has actually changed so now it takes the complete shape of the bend deformer and as you increase it, it changes you no know? so it we have modes so for now it says limited meaning it's limited to where the bend is going you can actually choose within box which is it will bend only the object within the box of the bend so if i should move the bend anything that falls within is what is going to actually affect and we have unlimited and the unlimited will actually bend it both sides so if i should choose unlimited you can see now it's bending it from the other and our size as well so if i should put it right in the middle it actually bends it proportional like symmetrically so now you can see it's bending it so that's what the mode does the angle also sort of give us now it's bending on just the x axis so if i should twist it you see now it's actually bending it on both x and a bit of z axis so if i should navigate around you can see now it changing the angle so that's what basically the angle does and to keep the y axis length what it does is anytime i bend notice it sort of stretches the cube to to make it a bit longer but if you tell it to keep what the y axis actually keep the shape of the object so that it doesn't stretch or anything and still bend it keeping the shape of the object so if i should select it you can see now it gets smaller i actually go back to the default and use limited and select fit to print again reduce it a little bit for us to see the keep uh, y axis what happens so if i uncheck it you can see now it gets a bit longer and if i check it it makes it a bit uh, keep the size of the original object so that it still bends it so this what basically the um, bend deformer does you can actually come here and use um for uh, fall off or a field to actually let it grow like sort of deform some parts of the object so maybe if i should choose let's say linear field now you can see some part of the cube is not being deformed so if i should no it's, it's some part of it's not being deformed and can actually i'll change it to y you see um how it happens so you can actually come here come around here and play with it as well to get what you want to to get i mean the bend deformer is used to do several things so i have a cube created which has um 
3000 centimeters on X, 500 on Z, and 10 on uh, Y with 100 segments on the X. So I'll go ahead and create a bend deformer and I'll make it a child. And now if I should bend it, it's bending really not the way we want. So what we do is we select the bend deformer and rotate it 90 degrees on its banking minus 90 and now if you should go ahead and rotate it you can see it's now bending so i'll keep the y axis length and now it's now bending so i can simply if i can i could have simply come in here put it to minus x and say fit to parent and it would have done the same thing but if you are using an older version you might not have this option so you can simply go in and rotate it yourself and now i'll increase it to a strength to three like to, it can even go further than what the slider you have here so i'll make it go like thousand or something and straight away you can see it, shrink, it shrinks it and make it a little bigger so if you select the uh, bend and come in here and make it um minus 91 increase it or can see now it starts to fold within now it looks like a folded carpet or something kind of folded so if i should go in still and increase the strength you can see now it keeps folding it so we can use it to create something like a folded carpet or unfolding something of that sort so now I can simply now select the bend deformer See, even though the object is here, the bend deformer is in the center of the wall. So if I should select the bend deformer and move the bend deformer, you can see now it's unfolding the object. So you can use the bend deformer to create stars like that. So here I have a normal plane, which I've just uh, animated it on its banking. So you can see it's moving from zero to one, uh, 180 and it looks very flat it doesn't give you any feel but immediately i add the bend deformer and animate it a little bit you can see it gives you that flat feel make you feel like a flipping page of a book or something so if i should actually go ahead and create a um, clone object put it into a cloner and make it linear maybe make this zero increase it to like let's say 10 and play it i mean Still all plays at the same time so I can actually go ahead select the clone and go ahead and make sure I choose step effector uncheck this one and offset the time a bit and instantly it's like we are, have like a book flipping you know I mean a lot a whole lot of it yeah it's just a simple animation of a sphere with headphones on and it looks very normal but immediately I enable the bend deformer in it you can see it begins to add life to it now it's sort of bumping its head kind of thing i mean there are several ways that you can use the bend deformer in character animation in every like every way you can actually go out there and look at things that have bendy feels and things and try to use the bend deformer to recreate them and you can see what you can come up with the bend deformer so yeah, there are lots and lots of ways that you can use the bendy format. So go ahead and start using it. And I'm sure it will be very helpful to you in your projects. See you in the next one.